All right, so let's find the centroid of the shaded area that is bounded by this x squared curve and this zero and also bounded by this one and two. All right, the centroid <coughs> of this area. We know that to find the x location of the centroid, it's integral x tilde dA over integral dA. To find the y bar, it's integral y tilde dA over integral dA, where x tilde and y tilde is the centroid of the differential element dA. And I always like to have my dA's to be a very, very thin, infinitesimally small, thin vertical rectangle that has a base of dx. And then we can we figure out the height, we can figure out the location of the centroid, we can figure out the uh, x tilde and y tilde. So I kind of like to come over here and say, okay, what is dA? What is the x location of the centroid of dA? What is the y, y location of the centroid of dA? So what is dA? Well, it's a rectangle that has a base of dx and a height of what? What is the height of this? If we're going from zero to here, it's really top minus the bottom, but if the bottom is zero, it, it's just top. It is just x squared, right? It is just whatever the function is right here, right here, right here. What is the function right here? It is x squared. So, you know, maybe rewrite this as x squared dx, that is dA. So that's what I'm going to plug in right here, 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 right? All right. What is x tilde? Well, that is the x location of the centroid. The centroid of this infinitesimally small rectangle uh, is just, just the x location of the rectangle. And if you do it the way that I do it here, uh, you know, your x tilde is always going to be x. If you have a very thin rectangle that we're going from here to here to here to here, you know, to here, all the way to here, you know, a thousand, a million times, <clears throat> then the x location of the centroid is just x. The y location is a little bit harder. It is, you know, right at the middle. Right, right at the middle of this rectangle. So what location is always at the middle of this rectangle? Well, that value is always x squared, right? That value is always x squared. That value is always x squared. This value is always x squared. This value is always 0. And so the middle of that, I like to think of it as the average of the top of the rectangle and the bottom of the rectangle. The average of the top of the rectangle and the bottom of the rectangle would be x squared plus zero divided by two, x squared divided by two is my y tilde. All right, so now that I know that, then I can find x bar. x bar is the integral of x tilde. What is x tilde? x. Uh, and then dA, what is dA? x squared dx, right? x, all right, and then over Integral dA, x squared dx. All right, so th this is really x cubed. All right, and so what is the integral of x cubed? x to the fourth over 4. What is the integral of x squared? x cubed over 3. All right, now, now let's be careful, though. We are evaluating this as x goes from 1 to 2. We're evaluating this from 1 to 2, right? So plug in... 2 minus plug in 1, right? Let's, let's, let's do that. Let's show that. Plug in 2 to the 4th minus 1 to the 4th over 4. Plug in 2 cubed over 3 minus 1 cubed over 3, all right? This is, let's say, 3.75 over 2.33. This is 1.61. I think that should be inches. 1.61 inches is the x location of the centroid right there. And does that make sense? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, does it make sense? It's going to be here, here, you know, maybe, maybe somewhere along there. All right, it's not exactly true, but I like to think of it. There should be more, the same amount of area, you know, path on both sides of it. This is not, it's not technically true, uh, but, you know, does that make sense? Yeah. It's, it should be a little bit closer to the, the right side than it is to the left side of this area. So it's past 1.5. All right, now, x bar. 
X bar is integral of sorry, da, 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 Y bar. Y bar is integral of Y tilde, which is X squared over 2, dA, which is X squared dx over, this is the same, and that's why I like to, to write that number right there so I don't have to do the integral of the denominator anymore. So, all right, this is x to the 4th over 2. So what is the integral of x to the 4th over 2? x to the 5 over 5 and 2, right? Maybe we could put 1 half x to the 5th over 5 or uh, x to the 5th over 10 evaluated from... 1 to 2. Plug in 2, plug in 1. 2, 2 to the 5th over 10 minus 1 to the 5th over 1 raised to the 5th over 10 over 2.33. All right, this I've got is 1.33 inches. All right, you can, you can leave them separate or bring them down here and say, my centroid, my x bar, y bar, is 1.61, comma 1.33, uh, and I do like you to have units somewhere on your answer. Does that make sense? Right, we did our process. X bars, integral x tilde dA over integral dA. It's almost, I don't know if I have said this in previous videos, it's almost like a weighted average. You know, you take this little rectangle right here, and you, you put its centroid times its area, but then you do this rectangle, and its centroid times it, and, and these rectangles over here are a little bit larger, so they're weighted more, so, you know, the, the two, so that's why it makes more sense that this isn't just right at the middle at 1.5, it's a little bit cl closer to that side. Right? And, and this integral is almost like a summation of very, very tiny da's. But, you know, you, you can just use our equation in order to find the uh, centroid of the area between two functions.